This is Mahmoud Hassan Magas. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Soidos. Today we are going to solve this problem. In this problem, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. We will start drawing from the uh, front view. In the front view, we will first draw this central line, which is 30 minus 3. We will draw this circular part later. Then in the top plane, we will draw this center line which is 20 minus 3. Then we will take a reference plane and draw this inclined line. Okay, let's get started. First, go to font plane and select sketch. And now select line. And draw a line of 30 minus 3, 27. Okay. Now, is G sketch. We have drawn the front plane sketch. Now we'll draw the top plane sketch. Okay. Now select top plane and select sketch. Normal to it. And we'll draw a vertical line which is 20 minus 3 okay let's dimension the this line this line is 60 meter height from this plane so we will later offset this with reference plane first we will first dimension it from 50 and 65 Okay, now go to span dimension and dimension it at to year 65 and this point to this point is 50 minus 20, 30. Okay, as here you can see our this line is on horizontal plane but the but this line is actually 60 unit height away from the horizontal plane. So we will take a reference plane. Now exit sketch. Now take a reference. Now take a reference plane. Now select top plane and select 60 unit. 60 unit okay now select the plane and go to sketch and then normal to it and select this line and convert into this we can see now we have got this line now we will exit this sketch now we will draw this inclined line to draw this inclined line we will take another reference plane from these two lines. Okay, let me hide this plane. Okay. Again, go to reference plane. Select this point and this point, and thirdly select the top plane. Okay. Now we will sketch to this plane and connect those two lines. Those two lines. Select line and connect those. two lines here you can see that we are actually getting the shape the dotted center line shape is a dotted center line shape okay as it is we can see it has a curve like this so we need to draw the 3d sketch so we'll easy to sketch this then We'll go to sketch and go to 3D sketch. Now offset all the three parts. Now combat entities. Combat entities all the three parts we have drawn. So selected and convert entities. Now we have got our 3D sketch. In a 3D sketch, uh, we will give the fillet. The fillet is uh, two, 
25 so let me hide all other these sketch because we don't need them anymore so i will hide them okay me also hiding this plane also okay now we have our 3d sketch now go to fillet and fillet it 25 in both place now select unit 25 unit now select this point and this point okay we are quite done getting the shape now we'll draw the other thing which is the circle we can see that the circle is 20 in diameter so now we'll select the top plane oh, let me first exit the 3d sketch okay now take the top plane select sketch now sketch the circle of 20 diameter select the circle and place it to origin and dimension it 20 okay now click this and easy to sketch now we will use the sweet feature to get this shape now go to features and sweep boss and select this circle then select path of 3d sketch okay we can see there is a another cut in this pipe which is which is 15 unit diameter so again we will go, go to top plane and it is it is sketch now select the circle and draw a circle of 15 unit diameter select ok now go to features and select ok first go to easy disk then go to features and then select swift cut uh, we have selected the circular circle now select the profiles of path the path is 3d sketch now select ok now as we can see we have Drawn the pipe. Now we will draw the pipe this part, this circular two part. Where we can see this circular part is 30 in unit diameter and it has a 12 hole. Every hole has 2 unit diameter. Okay, I will start from the top plane. We go to you, you can also select this face if you don't want to select the top plane. I have selected this face and sketch. Now normal to it. Now select this line and convert into this. And now go to circle and draw a circle of 30 unit. And we can see that if we zoom out a little more, we see that we have a construction geometry which is 12.5. So let's draw this. Let's draw a circle of 12.5 radius 12.5 into 2 which is 25 diameter now construct shown this geometry okay now draw a circle which is 2 unit diameter 2 unit diameter now go to circle space pattern we have to draw 12 circle so select 12 circle we have drawn it okay now see that we will have to extrude both it to 3 unit as we have see earlier this 3 unit will now extrude both ok now features and extrude both and give it to 3D unit ok we are almost done ok now we will draw the circular profile of this part now again Go to this side and select this face and see sketch. Now select this circle and convert into this. Now draw a circle of 30 unit 
now draw the construction circle which is 12.5 radius 12.5 into 2 25 diameter now construction this geometry now draw all the small circle which has two diameter we are drawing small circle of two two diameter now go to circular sketch pattern and keep 12 now we have to place this center to here now let's see how we can give this as we know the constant geometry has a radius of 12.5 we have selected the 12.5 here in radius now shift it to the center okay now place okay now go to features and it should boss it to 3 unit press ok now we can see we have drawn this shape and we have successfully done this thank you for enjoying till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different